It was the first time really in the world that a group of um, island countries had said to distant water fishing countries, these are our fish, you're welcome to fish them, and you, but you'll do so on our terms and under our rules, and you'll pay a fair price for access. And it came as quite a shock to the distant water fishing nations of the world who'd been quite used to dictating the, the access arrangements for fisheries. Our Ocean's Promise traces the evolution of Marshall Islands fisheries development and administration from its embryotic stages in the 1970s to becoming one of the most progressive and forward-looking in the Pacific Island region. The nation has gone from being a bystander, selling a few licenses so distant water fishing nation fleets could reap the benefits, to playing a key role in the parties to the Naro Agreement group that controls ocean waters where over half of the world's skipjack tuna is caught. Since 2010, the Marshall Islands Marine Resources Authority has seen the commercial tuna fisheries revenue increase tenfold while implementing a world-recognized conservation and management regime that, together with its partners in the PNA, is maintaining cash levels for all four tuna species at a sustainable level. The narrative of our ocean's promise details the development of the commercial tuna fishery in the Marshall Islands and new efforts to engage in many aspects of the tuna value chain. From the catch to the delivery of tuna products to retailers, the book includes a detailed chronology that highlights national and regional fisheries milestones. This is our ocean's promise from aspirations to Inspirations, The Marshall Islands Fishing Story by Gift Johnson. Order your copy now on Amazon.com. <laughs>